everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode for NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at the next member of the HTC One family, the One S. Now, I've looked at the X, the XL, now the S. Um, um, so, why? What is this device? Where does it fit? You know, who's sitting in my chair? This is very thin. It's thinner than the rest of them. It's, it's 7.8 mil. If you look at it, it's really, really quite thin. Whenever I put it in somebody's hands, they're just like, wow, that's a great size. And it is. It's also a smaller screen. It's a 4.3 inch screen. So actually, when you look at it, you go, wow, it's actually, if you're moving from the iPhone, you don't get too scared. You're thinking, actually, it's not a bad size. I can get used to that very quickly. And beautiful feel in the hand. This is got, not even talking about the performance of the device. When I put it next to the um, Galaxy S3, you'll see the size difference. It is there. There is definitely a noticeable difference. Um, so if people think that S3 or XL is, is too big, then definitely you would be looking at the One S. Now, when I spoke to HTC about this device first, um, they told me that it's more marketed towards the girls because something so thin it will fit beautifully in your clutch or handbag. See, I said clutch. Like, I, I, I kind of know what, I know what I'm saying. Um, so it will fit easily in the bag and things like that. One of the things I was disappointed about is that because it is aimed at girls so much, or the female market, the front facing camera should be better. There is an app which HTC put on all their phones called Mirror. Perfect. Women will love that because they can just look at themselves, make sure their makeup's good and things like that. But if the front facing camera isn't as good as it should be, then we're a little bit let down. So the front facing camera is, is good, but it could have been better. The front-facing camera on the One X and the XL is better than this one. The camera on the back, however, is actually very, very good. I took a lot of photos with this. You know, I tried to put myself in the frame of mind of a, of a female sometimes and think, what do they take photos of? And, you know, they take photos of themselves. But they take photos of food and they take photos of sunsets because it's nice. And so I did that. I took photos which would hopefully relate to you. If you're watching, if you're a guy, that's cool too. Like, nothing wrong with owning this phone if you're a dude. Like. It doesn't look girly, it's not pink, so it's cool, it's cool. Um, so, to give you some inners and outs of the phones, it's a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor. Now, while it, you know you hear of quad core phones now, like the One X and the S3, it doesn't make this necessarily slow. It's not as fast, and it's definitely not as fast. The One X is sort of the, the racehorse of the HTC One family, but the One S isn't sort of the donkey either. It's definitely keeping up, but just not in all the areas. So, you know, when you're flicking through the apps, it doesn't feel gluggy or slow, but you do notice the One X was a lot zippier. Um, going all around the thing, um, Android Ice Cream Sandwich, of course, same operating system as the One X. If you turn them both on, they look identical. Um, takes a micro SIM, no expandable storage, which is a shame. You know, all the One S, all the One series are sort of all sealed up, which is very pretty, but it is a shame that you can't remove the battery and that you can't add extra storage to it. So bear that in mind. And um, what else can I really tell you about the phone besides take a look at my One X and One XL review? It's the size. Um, you really need to hold both devices because I really like the One X. I, I, if you look at my review of the One X, I really, I really enjoyed using it. And um, it's, did my accent just change? It's really nice anyway. And you just, it, <sighs> Maybe HTC is right. Oh, shaking the TV. Maybe the HTC is right that this does market better to females. They have smaller hands than I do. So for me, this I might find this small compared to the One X, but you know, girls won't. So I want you to take a look at it. I want you to go into a store and I want you to try it. Um, for for anybody, this is going to be a decent phone. One of the biggest problems, and I, if you watch um, my Cup of Tech show you would have heard me say that I'm disappointed at the pricing of the device. In Australia, they've put this on the same price point as the One X um, with Optus and the One XL on Telstra, which is insanity because when you look at them in terms of performance, this is just not there. Um, and when you look at it in terms of the quality of the screen and so on, this just isn't as good. It's not, like, let's be honest. This is this is not the best child in the family. It's, it's the middle child and it just, it should have been priced differently. This has a great spot in the market. It really is a decent unit, but I think 
the telco companies have priced it in the wrong way. So I've, I've spoken to someone who's in the UK who bought one and they paid a lot less than what they would have for the One X. Perfect, makes sense. Save, if you can save some money, this would be a great option. But yeah, in Australia, they just didn't do that. It will happen, stay tuned to it. Take a look at this phone when you next go to the shops. It is incredibly thin, it's very, very good looking. And if you take this to a nightclub, you'll still take some great photos of you and your girlfriends. See, I, I can do the girl reviews. On next week's show, I'll review a hair straightener. Actually, no, a GHD. I'm kidding. I, I wouldn't know how to. I have short hair. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye.